hello welcome to my channel this video was inspired by a subscriber who asked the question about the structure of excel functions so we are going back to the basics today in the first part of the video i'll describe the structure of excel functions and afterwards we'll take a look at an example so keep watching and don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below An Excel function is a predefined formula that performs specific calculations by using specific values called argument in a particular order. You can find all of Excel functions in the function library in the formulas tab on the ribbon. They are categorized by their functionality. There are hundreds of functions in Excel that can be used to perform simple and complex calculations. For a list of available functions, you can click on Insert Function or press Shift and F3 or the FX symbol beside the formula bar. This will launch the Insert Function dialog box, which is also known as the Function Wizard. And there you'll find the functions. Now let's talk about the structure of an Excel function. I'll use the IF function as an example. You can type an equal sign in the formula bar and pick a function from the drop down list to the left of the formula bar. You can also insert a function by typing the name directly into the cell or by using the function wizard. I'll discuss both in detail. The structure of an Excel function begins with an equal sign. So type an equal sign in a blank cell. Next is the function name. When you type the beginning letters of a function, Excel displays a drop down list of functions that match those letters. You can then select by pressing the down arrow. You see a description of the function as well. And press tab to select the function or double click on it and Excel will enter it for you and also insert the opening parentheses or bracket. Note that you don't have to capitalize the name of the function because it is not case sensitive. Excel will automatically capitalize the name. Now a tool tip with the syntax and required and optional arguments appears. A syntax is the layout and order of the function and its argument. If I press Ctrl Shift A, the tool tip appears as a text in the cell and also remains visible. You can drag it when the cursor changes to the four pointed arrow. Now arguments refer to all the data or information required by a function and they must be entered in the correct order. They are separated by commas and I can click on each one in the tooltip to highlight its position in the cell. If I click on the function name, it opens the help topic for the function. This can be useful if you get stuck. Please note that arguments in square brackets are optional. Now, if it doesn't have a square bracket, then it is a required argument and you must provide the information for the function to work. This implies that the optional arguments can be omitted. Now, in the case of the if function, if you skip both optional argument, it will return a zero. The last part of the syntax is a closing parenthesis. Now, let's take a look at the function wizard. I'll show you two ways. Type an equal sign, the function name and an opening bracket. Then click on insert function or press shift and F3. This launches the function wizard or you go to a blank cell, click on insert function or press shift F3 and then select the function. You see the description of the function at the bottom of the box. The list of arguments are displayed here and when you click inside each bar, a description of each argument appears at the bottom to guide you. And if you need help with the function, you can click on help on the function. The result of each argument and the result of the entire formula 
is also displayed here. It's blank now because we are yet to write the formula. Let's take a look at an example and I'll mention some key points you have to note when writing Excel formulas. I'll write a formula using the if function to check the value in cell B4 and return yes for delegate who attended all five days of the week and no for those who didn't. So type equal to if you can see a description of the if function here. Press tab to select. The opening bracket is inserted automatically. The first argument is the logical test to be evaluated by Excel. This logical test can either be true or false. We want to test if B4 is equal to 5. So you click on B4 and type equal to 5. We have to move to the next argument. So type a comma. If the logical test is, is true, then it should return yes. Now the first key point. When you want to include text in a formula, you should enclose the text in quotation marks. However, numbers don't require quotation marks unless you want Excel to treat them as text values. Let's move on to the next argument. Type a comma. If the logical test is false, then it should return no. Don't forget the quotation marks. Now, the next key point. There should be a closing parenthesis for every opening parenthesis. So close the bracket and hit enter. Now we have the result. Let's create the formula with the formula wizard. Type if. Hit the tab button to select the function and an opening bracket. Press shift F3. The first is the logical test. Make sure the cursor is blinking in the box. You can either type the cell reference directly into the box or select the cell. So click on cell B4. Now move back to the box and type equal to 5. Now whatever you type appears in the cell and in the formula bar. Excel evaluates this immediately and shows you the result which is true. B4 is equal to 5. Now move to the next argument. If the logical test is true, then it should return yes. If you don't enclose yes in quotation marks here, Excel will because it recognizes that it is a text. And you see the effect once you move to the next argument. Let's move to the next argument. If false, then it should return no. Once you're done, click OK. Now we have the result. Now the next point, you can edit the formula in the formula bar or double click on the cell or press F2 to edit. Another point to note, to copy the formula to the rows below, you can drag the fill handle, this tiny square at the corner of the cell. To recap briefly, we looked at the syntax of an Excel function and the argument in an Excel function. If you are a beginner, you'll find the function wizard very helpful. That will be all for today. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Please leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.